Ray Dawn Chong is rapidly becoming a familiar face on the movie screens of America. She first caused a stir as the cave woman in Quest for Fire, and more recently, she appeared in Commando and American Flyers. She talked about the role she plays in the movie. Well, see, Squeak's an orphan, basically. I think she grew up in a situation where it was um, very little money, um, a very, very large family. I think her mother um, worked as a domestic. So she didn't have much choice, you know, to either be a domestic or be sort of a lady of the evening, maybe, um, or a singer, whichever. I don't know. There was sometimes no difference. Um, I think uh, when she meets Harpo, which is all in my head that I created this, I think it's at a turning point where she's just so low, having, you know, lost her mother and things like that. So she has all this background. So she has nothing. You know, she comes into Harpo's life at a point when she has nothing. And so she's so grateful to have someone that would just love her. And I think socially, because she's a half-caste, that there's no place for her to comfortably, you know, fit in. And certainly, if you're slightly attractive and you're a bit of a, like an alley cat, you're on your own and you're attractive and you're half cast and you're not that educated you just get beat up you know so I think Squeak sort of beat up she existed in the old south but it, I think there's still a lot of squeaks around today don't you yes unfortunately yeah I mean I look at like battered wives and things like that you know mm -hmm. and I just it's so easy you know because we just want to be loved but it, it, it's very easy for myself or you, because we're both probably self-assertive women and we make our own living to not take anything from someone. But um, somewhere someone told us that as women we had to be dependent upon a stronger entity, say a man, and uh, that we couldn't survive without that. And that's something that still, that tape plays back in my mind sometimes. I just get so tired some days, I just wish, oh, where's my daddy, you know? Of course. So it's, it's something that's um, ancient that goes through us. And it's not true, you know, Indian societies, um, American Indians, the women did all the work and the guys hunted and they looked beautiful and, you know, made babies with us and made, you know, did the honorable things that the warriors would do, which not to say it wasn't honorable, but we did some pretty awesome things as women, you know, in the tribes. So somewhere in the, uh, along the way, we lost that kind of self-assertiveness um, and we're slowly getting it back. But sometimes I wonder if we're doing it with finesse. One being clear. 